Good morning, afternoon, and good evening. I'm Mr. Black, and this channel's called Cringe Against Humanity, or you might want to call it Cut. But the truth is, my friend, it doesn't matter what you call it, we'll be doing one thing on this channel. We've got one job, and that's to dig, discover, and investigate the most cringy and awkward clips on the planet and deliver them to you with my reaction. Today we're going to kick off the channel's first episode with a folder that my producer Tom Arrow sent over to me called Religious Cringe. cringe. And I gotta say before I get started, this is my favorite type of cringe ever. I mean, this is right up there with Karen's. As a matter of fact, because this covers so many kind of uh, insane preachers and, and, and mental pastors, I like to refer to them not as preachers or pastors, but Brother Karen's. Brother Karen! Yay! Now I'm not talking about your run-of-the-mill Christian people trying to do better with their life and, 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 and be better on this planet. No, no, of course not. I've got no problem with religion or whatever somebody wants to believe as long as they're not harming other people or themselves. But these people are the absolute scum of the earth and hell possibly. I would say if there is a hell, a lot of these guys are going to be going there. Now, I haven't watched what Tom sent me, but I'm going to watch it now, and we're going to go over it together. So buckle up, get your little cringe shades on, because you're going to need them. This shit is going to be all over your face. So without further ado, in the name of God, are you ready for the Lord of Cringe? All right, then. Here we go. The first clip is called Kenneth Copeland Speaks in Tongues. Now, I've got to say, I do know who Kenneth Copeland is. And um, he's an insane reject, so just prepare yourself if you haven't heard this guy. And if you're not familiar with speaking in tongues, I used to be a Christian. I used to go to a Pentecostal church, and I left when they tried to force me to speak in tongues at church camp. A church camp that was going really good, by the way. The whole week was great, great music, you know. Uh, they were doing cover songs of... Of, of, of like popular cover songs like the Rolling Stones and stuff, but replacing certain words with Jesus, and, and, and that was fine. Jesus Christ, Christ, baby. It was all good until they tried to force me to speak in tongues. So I'm interested in seeing Kenneth Copeland speaking in tongues, and it always amazes me to hear people speaking in tongues. So by the power of the Holy Ghost, here we go. And uh, give you a chance to raise your income. Praise God. You missed a place to shout right there that you need to get used to this now. <laughs> hey. Already, the narcissism is peeking its ugly head. You didn't say amen fast enough. Make it better next time, hallelujah. Glory to God. Of course, all of our offerings will go toward the outreaches of Kenneth Copeland Ministries and, and uh, especially Kenneth Copeland Ministries Canada. All of the donations you give today will go to me, and especially me and other countries where I will probably won't be taxed. And it is, and and the the territories under which the Canadian office uh, is. Shake them off. Did did he just say shake them off? Shake them off. Shake them off. Hold on, I have to go back. What what the f did he say? Shigamo. Shigamo. Well, hold on a second. This is just, this is how we talk to Lucas whenever, you know, we want him to do something. Lucas, our, our son is a year and a half and uh, he, he doesn't speak you know, real words yet. So this is pretty much how we, we talk to him. Stay in Oklahoma. In case they tax your income. Stay away from women in high heel stilettos. The movement of the Spirit of God that has been prayed over. Hold on a second. So when you speak in tongues, from what I understand, 
there has to be an interpreter there. Someone, so if like if you speak in, in tongues, that there's supposed to be somebody there present that can interpret what you just said, which kind of defeats the purpose of speaking in tongues. I mean, just say it, you know. But uh, that, that's supposed to be what's happening. So I, I assume that he's now interpreting what he just said in a foreign language. Dude, dying to, I'm dying to stick this in Google Translate. The movement of the Spirit of God that has been prayed over, called down, cried over, died over, sought after, people crying for the lives of other people throughout this entire North American continent, but most especially in these territories and in these places. What is he talking about? Cried over, tried over, fried over, lied over, pied over. <laughs> Fuck me. He's just naming words. I mean, I could be a preacher. I could do this. Lampshade. Telephones. Thong song. I spit hot fire, awesome. but I'm not a rapper. Crying and dying. <laughs> he goes again. This this guy's like in a uh, rap battle at the minute. 12 job applications. Two babysitters. No babies. <laughs> Crying and dying and motherfuckers trying. I want a motherfucker to get wings and be flying. Not like a demon. Not like semen. I don't know. Knowing. Showing. Glowing. Rowing. Dying. Trying. Fried and prophesied. You know what's really crazy about Kenneth Copeland? He's got about the squarest head I've seen since George Bush. Um. Also flat. He's also got a flat, a flat face, without being, without it being flat at all. He's his whole, his whole facial structure really is a paradox. Um, if you if you look closely, he looks a bit like the the main actor from that TV series Angel, um, which is which is funny because I think that guy was like a demon or something. Ah, fuck, I don't know. This guy's more likely a demon than that guy. He's singing. Monday. Tuesday. Tedebarabashi Shabarala Takadi. And I know a stroke when I see one. And this guy is definitely having a stroke. And what age is he even? It's really hard to tell. I mean, he might not even be an age. He might just be straight up dead. I mean, if there were vampires, this is the perfect cover. I'm more, more, I bet you. Google the name and bring me an esto. Stay Oklahoma, Lana. Stay Oklahoma, Loma. Stay Oklahoma, Lona. Uh, Christmas, Home Alona. Macaulay Culkinokin. The movement of the Spirit of God. Ah, oh, fucking spare me. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. That's cause Jesus Christ is my- Stop it. Get some help. And that's, you know what? That's not the only Kenneth Copeland uh, video that Tom Arrow has sent me. There's a second one. The second one is titled, Kenneth Copeland Speaks in Tongues with Another Preacher. So this should be interesting. If we're actually going to get a conversation between two insane maniacs um, speaking in gibberish to each other, that, that, I just can't imagine a better way um, to continue this video. Rise up this day in great boldness. Rise up this day and be filled afresh with the new wine of the Holy Ghost. Rise up this day and oh, sepala manama erepe eribo ahaha. He said ehaha. He said ehaha. Bro, you can't, dude, you can't listen. I'm not giving you a fucking dime out of my pocket if you go iri bola talala ha ha. That's not. Listen. This is the kind of stuff that makes me potentially believe in demons. To drink, to drink, to drink, to drink, to drink, to drink. He's like the. <laughs> he's like that character out of Father Ted. The old priest. Drink! Fake! Ass! Girls! 
I don't know if you've ever seen it, but I lived in Ireland for a while and that was a big thing. That's what this guy's like. Drink, 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 drink. Oh, Sekaya, we drink Parombo, Mende Brev, Viviva, Ambrosto, Cora della Brevivia. This guy's fucking insane. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 we're not worried. Oh, yeah, 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 he just came. He just came. What other people think, no, uh -huh. doesn't matter what they think. <laughs> Literally, his conscience is telling him, Hey, bro, cut it out. You look stupid. People are going to think you're stupid. And he's just fighting back with, Doesn't matter what they think. Oh, Dude just said Oprah. Fact. And there's our boy, there's Kenneth Copeland. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Looking slim, looking younger. Nice suit he's got on there. You know, got both buttons going. Uh, hasn't hasn't managed to fall victim to the uh, the old fast food demon like our boy on the left here. So uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> Do you ever see that video where the two little baby twins were like having gibberish conversations with each other? <laughs> they made more sense than this. My suit is already sticking to me. I drive a Ford Fiesta. A Manchurian candidate on the television. <laughs> there has never been anything more more fucking demonic on TV than this. This is as demonic as it gets. <laughs> <sighs> I feel like I need a break. Drink, drink, drink. The next religious cringe video on the list is Larry Smith blows up on a church member. So this has got to be good. I love when preachers their narcissism gets the better of them and they just completely take it out on their congregation. It exposes them for what they really are and that's snake oil salesmen um, and sometimes snake handlers. In the name of God! A man named J.L. Went, uh, went into the cheese business in Chicago. Went into the cheese business in Chicago. <laughs> just the way... Just the way he said Chicago is... is um, it is beautiful. It's so preacher. It's so fake preacher. And also, why the fuck are we talking about cheese? The streets of heaven are paved with cheese. He failed and went bankrupt. Hey, sir. What you talking over here? Hey! What you talking? I'm talking to you, sir. Thank you. God bless you. I'm preaching. You went into the cheese business. He failed. He went bankrupt. You're probably the guy that needs to be at the altar tonight. Damn. Hope God you're not a Hiles Anderson student. I hope God not. Wow. Wow, dude. Double taked it. Dude, he's annoyed because dude was talking. Dude probably said something to his wife like, give the kid the coloring book and some crayons or whatever so he's quiet. And then dude is ripping into him for for a couple words he said in the slide because he's preaching that that's the entitlement these guys have they really think they are somebody super special they you know what it's a god complex i think they think they're god hey sir what you talking over here hey what you talking i'm talking to you sir thank you god bless you i'm preaching it, the little fake smile isn't it i'm preaching 
He went into the cheese business. He failed. He went bankrupt. You're probably the guy that needs to be at the altar tonight. I love to elbow this guy right between the ear and the collarbone. He went into the cheese business. He failed. He went bankrupt. And he moved on. He moved on from it back to the cheese business. And he just couldn't let it go. Listen to how butthurt he is. That I mean, that's just sheer butthurt. What a fucking idiot. Hope God you're not an Isle Anderson student. Hope God you're not an Isle Anderson student. I can only assume that's some kind of religious school or university or something like that. I hope God not. That's twice. Love you. And he says, love you. Dude, so abusive. Such an abuser tactic. Brilliant. I hope to God you're not a student at the place I teach. I hope to God. Love you. <laughs> I hope if you're going to be a preacher, everybody... Eddie, get f firing back again. Dude, just move on. You made your point. You shouted. You got his attention. Dude's probably not going to say anything for the rest of the fucking week. Just move on, man. I hope if you're going to be a preacher, everybody in the audience preach, t talks while you preach. You rape, you rape what you sow, so. <laughs> Still love you. Amen. Still love you. Amen. Ah, Bro, do, do these guys not realize how... Like, like narcissistic that is, and how entitled they look when they do this. This is a pure brother cringe moment if I ever saw one. And and did you hear the 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 crowd as well, like cheering him on, preach and all that kind of shit. You rape, you rape what you sow. So. Still love you, amen. That's right. Yep, still love you, amen. God, get this guy off my screen. Get the f out of here, wow. you mother fucking accuser. So we are three clips in, and I am cringing like all fucking get out. So uh, the next one we have up from Tom Arrow is Doyle Davidson berates his wife. Okay, here we go. You never knew me, but I was really active. No, you didn't. You've learned some things about me. Is this the old man from Up? You ever heard of a snipe? Squirrel! But you didn't know how athletic this body is been. I know it has lots of speed to it because I've tried to. That's out, a lot of what? Out, it has a lot of speed like to that? it. Yes. Pastor Doyle, your body has a lot of speed to it. Like that? You know, if it's a fucking preacher or a fucking pirate, Jesus Christ. What are you doing? What are you doing? We have tried to outrun, outjump, out squirm out of your way and have not been able to. Uh, why were you trying to squirm? <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> What? Come on! This dude is just gets out of breath sitting down. Do you notice that? He can't even talk. Why were you trying to run? What? He's like the fucking. I'm sure there was like somebody on King of the Hill or Beavis and Butthead who talked like that. Oh, 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 no! No! Help! Oh, Everything's okay! Oh, 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 see you, boy. What? Come on! Tell the truth! <laughs> tell it! I don't know. What time are we talking about? Like, don't you mess with me, woman. <laughs> Why was you trying to squirm away from me? Oh, who knows? Oh, there was... oh, come on. I wasn't trying to rape you. No. All right. Make it play. Because the witches and the wizards oh. think that's what I am. I see what you're well, saying. Well, I'm not. No. Never have been. All right? You were trying to run away from God, and I wouldn't let you run. What a fucking lunatic, Jesus Christ. Like, it's funny, but it's also sad, because this woman is clearly abused by this guy. Um, th this is this is abuse in itself right now. I, I'm going to hazard a guess here that it's it's likely, it's probable that he, he maybe has tried to force himself on her. I don't know. You were trying to run away from God. And I wouldn't let you run. Right? Right. You were trying to run away from God. I wouldn't let you run. Like that? Like that, dear? Like that? I need, a, I need a boxing match between him and Kenneth Copeland immediately. Now, are you going to be more honest? <laughs> are you going to be more honest? <laughs> Dude just came in his own throat. It's rejects like this that are the reason that I don't go to church anymore. And again, I'm not getting down on anybody who's religious or goes to church. I don't have a problem with it. But if you go to a church like this and you don't say something, you don't stand up and say, Hey, get your fucking face out of her face. 
or I'll knock you the f*** out. Then you're part of the problem, and very likely being controlled and abused yourself. <laughs> There's another clip here from Tom that uh, shows David Doyleson berating a church member, which it's it's hilarious on one side and on the other side of the coin is extremely abusive, uh, narcissistic, and manipulative. And if you're in that kind of position, get out. You don't need that. You can do better than that in your life, and you don't need these guys to tell you how to live. I mean, if you're into the Bible, you're into the Bible. I get it. You don't need this guy to read the Bible to you, you, you know, and... And, and, and just whatever you do, remember that he wasn't trying to rape you. I got, I got there. I got your email. And you shouldn't have sent it. I got your email. And you shouldn't have sent it. Look at the swagger of Columbo at the minute. <laughs> I got your email. And you shouldn't have sent it. When you did, you challenged God. And only a fool would challenge God. You hear me? All right. So, um, basically, this this congregation member at um, uh, Doyle Davidson's uh, church has sent him an email, obviously not happy about something, or you know, complaining, or maybe just constructive criticism. God knows what it was. Um, and and now Doyle's waited till it's church, and he's gone down into the audience, and he's decided that he's going to, you know. Uh, Ex embarrass this guy, not expose. There's no, no expose. He's just embarrassing this guy for sending an email or girl. I don't know who it is, so it doesn't show. Don't send me another one. Why does he keep? He did that in the last video too. And I don't know why you showed up. Here's a, this is a running trait with these these crazy preachers. So he came down, he said what he wanted to say, and then he he left, he walked away, but he's come back again because he wasn't finished. That's the wrong place. God said that to you, hear me? But you will find out, and you won't be so damn cocky, hear me? Just cursed in church. Just saying. <clears throat> I'm sure you know everything, don't you? Well, you act like you would have never said, I don't know. What did you mean by that? I don't know. Well, you act like you would have never said, well, what did you mean by that? What? I'm sure you know everything, don't you? Well, you act like you would have never said, I don't know. What did you mean by that? I don't know. Because God said it to you. Look, God may have very well said what he's saying he said but nobody has a fucking clue what that means not even god himself so god is clearly off his rocker today or maybe god's having a stroke too i don't know this shit's insane like don't stand for this if you go to a church like that or if you're in any group like this twin flames any of that bullshit get out of it you don't need that shit you showed up at the wrong place do you want me to help you you shouldn't have been here <laughs> He, he he wanted to say, "Do you want me? Do you want me to rape you?" That that's that's what he wanted to say. Like that. Yeah. When you get to the wrong place, you know what that means. Do you? What? No, you're in the wrong place, fool. <laughs> Uh. Huh. You get it? The wrong place. So where's the right place? I don't know. I just know God told you you came in the wrong to the wrong place. I think he's talking about butt sex. I think that's what he's talking about. God bless you, ignorant people. <laughs> God bless you. Fuck me. I mean, this is a quite a big church. Looks like there's a grand piano on the stage. Is this guy... People really follow this fuck? 
an idiot? Is it? Is this for real? Amen. Amen. Eric, I'm going to tell you something. You're one prideful, cocky, young man. Bro, I want to start a channel, a YouTube channel, where my whole basis of gathering a following is just insulting my audience. And you took on the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in your pride. Farted. Definitely just farted. <clears throat> That's not something you ought to take on. Smell, uh, smelling his own fart while talking. <clears throat> farted again. Walked by another uh, audience member as he left the aisle after ber berating the former audience member and farted again. You probably don't think I read my email, do you? Didn't get enough of whiff of the last fart, so he came back. What? Oh, really? Well, you found out. Do you like the answer? Good. Oh, there was a fart! I swear to God, there was a fart. Hold on. Go back. Good. That's a fart. That was a fart. Listen. Listen closely. Good. Did you hear it? Lad. Thank God. Just farting, just farting preacher. Uh, the remake with, with Doyle Davidson. Jesus Christ. Do you remember farting preacher? That was the most unusual feeling just went through me. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Thank God. Next clip on our list of really ridiculous religious cringe or Brother Karen's is Greg Locke. Who knows where the witches are? I have no idea what this clip is like, so um, I'm gonna check it out now. We got first and last names of six witches that are in our church. And you know what's strange? Three of you are in this room right now. <laughs> Listen, dude just told his congregation in church that he's been given the names of six witches, first and last names, by the way, so there's no confusion. First and last names of six witches, and three of them are in the room right now. And then he dances off to the left of the podium, and as he does, he taps out the the theme to to the, the opening theme to Mario Brothers. Listen to this. That are in our church. And you know what's strange? Three of you are in this room right now. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. You better look in my eyeballs. We ain't afraid of you, you stinking witch. Who says you better look in my eyeballs? You devil worshiping Satanist witch. We cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. We break your spells. We break your curse. We got your first name. We got your last name. We even got an address for one of you. You so much as cough wrong, and I'll expose you in front of everybody in this tent, you stinking witch. How do you cough wrong? You were sent to this church to destroy us. You were sent to this church to lure us in. You were sent to this church to cast spell. Listen, some of you been sick because you befriended that witch. He's not saying anything. He He's just kind of repeating the same start to a sentence each time, but like layering it with other stuff. Like, it's, it's simple enough to do. You can... Do it with anything. You know, you can do that about coming to this channel. You came to this channel to see a microphone? You came to this channel to hear my voice? You came to this channel to cringe? Well, I got there. Think about it for a second. This guy really thinks that witches are in his congregation and that some of the people hanging around with those witches are getting sick because of them, which is just a way to isolate and push out those people that don't agree with him. This chick is new to our church and don't know none of you. So you got a choice. You can leave with your spells all by yourself. With your spells. It just got Harry Potter. A victim is Manamota! It was foolish of you to come here tonight. The wrong place! Jesus Christ, man. Or I'll show up next Sunday with a stage full of brooms. And I'll give you one and I'll fly your tail up out of this place in the name of Jesus. But we ain't playing your spell casting witchcraft nonsense sage burning games. If you're calling out the witches, but then 
you're the one that's going to bring brooms to church and fly them out of here in the name of Jesus. I'm not sure, so sure you're, they're the witches. I mean, that's pretty witchy to me. I don't know how much more of this religious cringe I can take. Um, but the next clip in the, uh, in the folder that uh, Tom Arrow has sent me is uh, Jim Standridge rips into his com congregation. So, And again, I love to hate when pastors take it out on their congregation. I kind of feel like both parties deserve what they're feeling there a little bit, but I do kind of feel sad for the people being manipulated and abused. But, um. <laughs> And this is a God institution. And it'd be surprised. Son, don't go to sleep while I'm talking. Hey, hey. Hey, don't, don't, don't you lay your head back. I, I'm, I'm important. Wow, I'm important. I'm somebody. Now, you might do your English teacher that way, but I'm not teaching English. I'm teaching eternal life here. I love you. You know I love you. Have I convinced you I love you? No, I love you. Do you know I love you? Have I convinced you I love you? Look in my eyes, not around the eyes, only in the eyes, and I love you. Uh, yeah, you better, th you better nod your head yes. All right, come on, put it out there. All right, you stay awake and you listen to me. You say, well, he may never come back. Well, he ain't here now. Fair point. And where have you been? Reloaded, a aimed at another congregation member, and it's just taking, just firing shots now. And I noticed on the calendar I'm supposed to marry y'all. What makes you think I'd marry you? You're one of the sorriest church members I have. <coughs> You're not worth 15 cents. <laughs> and you want me to marry you to her? And you want to marry him? And he don't even know where he belongs? And you don't even know where you belong? Now... Uh, let me tell you all everybody here how much I love these kids. Do you know I love you, sir? Stand up, big boy. Do you know I love you? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Give me a little love. Oh, uh, you know what happened there? So he asked this guy to stand up so he could, like, you know, posture up against him and make himself look bad. And then when the boy stood up, he realized how big he was. And he's like, oh, shit, I better hug this out, you know? Stand up, big boy. Do you know I love you? Mm -hmm. All right. All right, give me a little love. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Went, saw the size of him, probably the, the size of that big guy. He shook his hand and it hurt a little bit. And he uh, turned into fucking Scooby-Doo. I'm a real deal. I'm a real deal. I'm a real deal. Lock right there. Uh -huh. All right, I know you are too, but you ain't been here. I'm the real deal. All right. I know you are too, but you ain't been here. So, justification. You can't get this in any other church in town. Wow. Now, y'all don't want me. All you got to do is tell me we won't have a church fight because I'll get my little Connie and we'll get in her little Buick Enclave. It's paid for. And we'll sell what we need to sell. And we'll go on down the road and we'll find some little podunk church that don't know up from down. And I'll find me a dozen Joe's baskets who don't have a pot or a window and who will shout Jesus. And I'll give the rest of my life to them. I have no words. What are Joe's baskets? And there's still people going, amen. amen. But I'm not interested in recreating the prostitute of the church. Amen. amen. You remember when I came here, Kelly? You remember where your wife was, where your sisters were. Do you remember where they were? And we made holy war. Do you remember that? Stay with me. Don't quit me. Bars. Oh, Brandy. Oh, Brandy's a sweet girl and she's got her children. Yes, y'all are good and y'all are fine, but your children will turn on you if you don't hold up the standard and the banner of God. And if they don't turn on you, they'll just... You'll just produce nice little whirlians. Dude, he's just making up words. I want up the standard of battle to God. You won't have children who have nice little whirlians. Not out there. Are y'all keeping the camera on me back there in the little video room? Now he's taking shots at the video guys. And they're doing a good job. We're having trouble in the video room. No, we're not. It's fine. There's no one finer than young Cox back there. You can't be taken seriously if you're going to say there's no one finer than young Cox back there. If that's all in the same sentence, then, you know, you're asking for it. There's no one finer than young Cox back there. And he comes down here and spends hours in that thing. But he has a little attitude adjustment that we're going to fix. Brother Cox, you listening? 
Because, Brother Cox, I can fix your attitude adjustment. Brother Cox, I can fix your attitude adjustment. That doesn't make sense. And I don't care what your mama thinks and your daddy thinks. And I don't have a better friend than your mama. But, Mama, you get out of my way when I'm messing with that boy because I'm his preacher. I'm, I'm yours when I'm talking to you. But I'm his when I'm talking to him. And last I checked, he's a grown man. Last he checked, you know. Take, take that as you will. And that video room ain't going to be a youth hangout. We might as well just fix this thing. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Well, if you don't know what you're doing wrong, son, you don't care about what I want to do right. Because if you loved me and you submitted to me, you'd know what my heart is and my message is, and you wouldn't go about establishing your own kingdom in the video room. What? And what's with the... What's all that about? <laughs> wow. I really feel good now. Just chugging holy water, you know? That's that's holy water from the Pope, I bet. And now he's just like, f*** it. I'm, I'm the real deal. I'm important. You can't get this in any other church in town. Jesus. Preach it. Jesus. This is how brainwashed people are that follow guys like this. Jim Standridge, Kenneth Copeland, Larry Smith, Doyle Davidson, Greg Locke, Steven Anderson. They're all the same. They're all the same. Uh, and people get so wrapped up in these guys to the point that they will do anything for them. And they believe that the more outlandish and the more almost aggressive these guys get, the, the, the more they believe in them. You know, the more they should be followed, which is just insane. Again, not all Christians and not all religious people are fanatics or extremists, but these guys are. The guys we've covered here are definitely extremists. Um, and uh, nobody should be subjected to their abuse. In the name of God, thank I've got one final clip on here um, from Tom Arrow, um, and it's Pastor Rod Parsley. Um, that's all it's titled, so we'll see what this is. What's going on? The Baptist Church. He Baptist says he wants the Holy Ghost. He's ready to have a new congregation. Whoa! He's ready to see the Holy Ghost move. I love this when they jog in place. Uh, you know some real fucking uh, insane shit's about to happen. That was a bit aggressive. This, all this shit here can f off. The guy got up after he's been, you know, knocked out, after he's been, you know, violated by the preacher. They take his prayer card or whatever it was. By the way, did you notice that even though he's knocked out by the Holy Ghost, uh, he still held on to the prayer card? <laughs> If this preacher has his workers in the congregation, his little, you know, holy secret service, pick this guy up again, and he just touches him and, and, and not, knocks him down again, I don't understand the point. I don't I don't understand how that's like a, um, a holy ghost anointing. I mean, for me, it's like, it's, it's more like a holy shit assaulting, you know? So these, th there's like some genuinely smart people in this in this in this church that that are creative and talented. 
you know, because listen to the music, it's fantastic. Like, they're, they're, it's, it's very intricate, it's very, um, I can't play that kind of stuff, and I'm a musician. So how do these people get so wrapped up in some idiot like this and to believe that this guy is a man of God? This is not a man of God. This is a guy just taking your money. Don't give don't give people like this that your time or your money. They don't deserve it. Um, and as I said before, if there is a hell, they'll be there. You just got burned. Here's another Baptist preacher wants the Holy Ghost. Are you ready? That reminds me of uh, Russell Brand at the start of um, uh, Get Him to the Greek, uh, like where, where he's where he's singing African Child. It reminds me of that. That's not anything. That's nothing. That was fucking nothing. That's the third stroke we've heard in this entire video. Oh God! Oh God! Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't feel your face. Are you ready? Are you? How can anybody want this? Get him up! Hold him up! Jesus! Hallelujah! Now that loud, let that Holy Ghost language come up out of you. Do it now. <laughs> That's not real. That's nothing. Oh my God. Whoa. He, the guy speaking in tongues here doesn't believe it. The preacher doesn't believe it. I mean, he basically just made a f***ing turkey noise. What's funny about this is everything, but what's scary about this is that this is sort of similar to what I experienced when I was in a Pentecostal church camp, uh, where they forced me to um, speak in tongues, and and I I did pretty much exactly the same same thing, and then you know never went pretty much never went to church again, um, but. The insanity here is just outlandish. Closing thoughts on this, uh, it's it's insanity. Uh, don't be a part of something like this. You don't need it. You can do better this, than this in your life. Um, if you are a part of something like this, I'm sure there's plenty of places you can reach out to that can help you escape. What you're looking at here is, they may legally call it a religion, but it is essentially the shell and exactly the same as a cult. So, um, get yourself out of there. It limits your life. It's slowing you down and you don't need it. And it's and cringy as all get out. You can do better than that. Never let some man in a suit who probably plays with snakes and thinks he can heal people by knocking them over in their wheelchair dictate or control your life. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You don't need it. If you feel lost or you feel like, um, you know, you're searching for something, just keep searching for it. I think when you go to places like what these guys offer, you line their pockets and you limit yourself and you never really find what you were looking for because these kind of institutions seem to do their best to convince you to stop searching for, for, for you know, your, your, your true destiny. Uh, instead of, you know, enriching your life, they are uh, stealing from your life to make their own rich. So um, do yourself a favor, stay away from uh, Brother Karen's and keep yourself well. And until next time, I'm Mr. Black, and you've been watching. You were driving to run away from God, and I wouldn't let you run.